It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by the San Mateo Credit Union, Kaiser Permanente, and Sam Trans. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Why, thank you, everybody. Welcome to Quiz Kids. If you're joining us for the first time this season, you're going to see some surprises, some new twists to the game. We're having a lot of fun with it, so we hope you'll enjoy it. And as always, you can expect some help here from our mighty judge, Mr. Frank Sabodi. So why don't we meet our first team, the Archbishop Reardon Crusaders. Yeah. Nick Aristavi, your family comes from the country of Georgia. Yes. You've visited that, and right now you're learning the Georgian language. How is that different from Western languages? Oh, it's completely different. It's a unique language all on its own, different alphabet. Different style, different grammar, different everything. More like the Cyrillic alphabet of the Not Russians? Not even close to the Cyrillic it's alphabet. Its own alphabet. Everything's very different. Mm -hmm. How challenging is that for you? It's really challenging when you have to, you know, sentences like memox, didi huerebi. It's really I don't hard. think you can say that on TV. <laughs> it's hard to say on TV. Yeah. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Your captain is Richard Kennedy. Richard, um, one of the hobbies you have had over the last few years, mainly because you live by the airport, is you've learned all the airport codes. Yes. What made you decide to do that? Were you listening in on? Uh... <laughs> no, it was um, just over a summer, maybe sixth grade over summer. I got bored because I was just staying home every day and mm -hmm. I thought I'd just research the internet. Since aircraft is, learning about aircraft is one of my favorite hobbies, I thought I'd learn all the airport codes. And what's your favorite code? PIT for Pittsburgh International. Why not? Good, the pit. All right, Khalil Huey. Khalil, you have lived your life with a, a disease called Mobius syndrome. Yes, you want to talk a little bit about that. What exactly is Mobius syndrome? Mobius syndrome is the, the underdevelopment of the sixth and seventh craniofacial nerves. Mm -hmm. Because of that, you often see in people with Mobius syndrome crossed eyes and partial or complete facial paralysis. That means in some people, you can't smile or move your mouth rarely at all. And there's a website that people can go to if they want to get more information or learn about the research going into Mobius Syndrome. Yes. What is that? MobiusSyndrome.org. Okay, good. We hope people will check that out. Let's give a big hand to your coaches, John Albach and Bruce Wicklund. <laughs> you guys ready to play? Let's play some collaboration round. All of these uh, questions will be worth 10 points. All of them are in the same category. The answers to each question will contain a color. A color this week. Good luck to you guys. Here's your first question. This is the first military medal awarded in the US given for wounds received in combat. The purple Heart. Purple Heart. That's right, the Purple Heart. <laughs> it's the notification put on freeway signs when a minor is abducted. A minor, a child. Amber Alert. The Amber Alert is right. Uh, the musical form originated by African Americans and popularized by Bessie Smith and Muddy Waters. Blues. Blues? The blues. Oh, the blues. The blues. Which is, I'll take that, although glue is my favorite color. Oh, Extorting payment by threatening to reveal information is called what? Black blackmail. Blackmail. Blackmail is correct. <laughs> this is the disease that almost prevented construction of the Panama Canal. Yellow fever. Yellow fever. You got it. <laughs> if something is totally unexpected, we say it came what? Out of the blue. You got it. You have 60. If you get the next one right, you'll score 70 points and get a bonus of 30 points. Uh, if you are giving or getting VIP treatment, we say you are getting what? Red carpet treatment. Red carpet treatment. You got 70 points. Right. And with the bonus, you go to 100. Good for you. First team to do that, we will be right back after these words to meet our second team.
Welcome back. Let's meet our second team, the Harker Eagles. Olivia Zhu, you are a junior, and last uh, December, just a few weeks ago for our, tape, for our taping date, you had a very interesting experience in Copenhagen. What did you attend? I went to the Children's Climate Forum, um, and it's a precursor to the COP15. Uh-huh. And what did you guys do? You had how many people there? 164 kids from 44 different countries. Wow. So, and you talked about climate change? Yeah, we discussed different ways um, to combat it and educate about it. So it was definitely really interesting. I understand you sent your uh, recommendations to the COP15. Yes, we wrote a declaration and gave it to their president. What happened? They didn't listen to us. <laughs> I guess they didn't listen. We'll need to work on them some more. Our captain is Andrew Joe. Andrew, you're a senior, and um, last summer you took part in a study uh, research into astrophysics. This is a big interest for you? Yeah, so uh, over the summer I had an internship at UCSC where I studied the Andromeda Galaxy. Mm -hmm. and Did you meet any Andromedans? Uh, no, unfortunately, oh. but uh, it definitely re it definitely confirmed my interest in physics and my dedication to research, which I'm planning to pursue in college. Very good. Good for you. Good luck with that. Brandon Araki, you are a senior, and um, some people just study Latin in school, but you take part in much more. Explain what certamen is. Oh, it's um, it's actually kind it's of actually like kurtamen, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I I took Greek. <laughs> It's a lot like, uh, kind of like Latin quiz bowl. So we answer questions on grammar and history and culture and stuff like that. Now tell me if this is true. Before I asked you, you want to learn more about Latin, you actually just want to work buzzers more, you said. Yeah, I like the thrill of answering questions. <laughs> In Latin? Yeah. Well, uh, veni vidi vici, Brandon. <laughs> Let's give a big hand to your coach, Bradley Stoll. Okay, you guys ready to play? Remember, all your answers will contain a color. Here's your first one. We say this if we have the ability to make plants grow, we have what? Green, green thumb. A green thumb is correct for 10 points. <laughs> this is a sensational form of newspaper writing, often involving Yellow. scandals. Yellow journalism. Yellow journalism. You got it for 10. This is what we call reclaimed, non-drinkable water used for irrigation. Brown. Brown water? Gray water. Oh. Architects draw these designs for buildings. Blueprints. That's right, blueprints. <laughs> there may be someone who doesn't know that, Andrew. <laughs> this is uh, a name for a Vietnam War defoliant. Oh, uh, Agent Orange. Agent Orange. That's right, for 10 points. The name for a connected series of parks or unused land in a new suburban development. Green, green, um, um, green spaces. Green spaces, yeah. Green spaces? Green belt. Green belt. And finally, uh, an unbiased report meant to brief one's superiors on the facts. Uh, yellow report. A white paper. Oh. You have 40 points at the end of this round. Congratulations. We will be back to play more Quiz Kids after these messages. Don't go away. Thank you. Welcome back. There's nothing more fun than attending a live taping of a game show. And if you'd like to come on down to the Quiz Kids studio, just call us at 650-637-1936. We'll send you free tickets. Y'all ready to play the lightning round? All right, in order to get a chance to answer the lightning round, you have to be the first to buzz in when you hear a question. Give me the right answer, you'll score 10 points. If you give me an incorrect answer, the other team will be given the chance to collaborate and steal those points away. If you buzz in before I complete the question, you'll have to answer with the information you've given. And if you do not give me the right answer, I will complete the question for the other team. I know I said that wrong, but you get the idea. Good luck, you guys. It is 100 to 40. Harker wants to catch up, and they may do so right now. First question. The movie Quiz Show opened with Bobby Darin's rendition of Mac the Knife, but this song originated in what musical play written by Bertolt Brecht and featuring Nathan... No, it's not featuring Nathan Detroit. So it's uh, written by Bertolt Brecht. 
Andrew? Galileo? No. Although Breck did write that play. You guys can steal. Yeah. The Three Penny Opera. Nathan Detroit was in Guys and Dolls, just in case you were interested. Riboflavin is a member of the B complex of vitamins. Which B vitamin is it? Brandon. Uh, B12. No, you can steal. B2. That's right. President Obama has said he will change the U.S. military's policy on gay soldiers. What is the common name for this? Yes, Andrew. DADT, or Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Don't Ask, Don't Tell, that's right. The first surviving drawing of a helicopter was penned by this left-handed Renaissance man. Yes, Brandon. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Correct. He painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Yes, Andrew. Angelo? Nope. Uh, he painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. Give me the last name of the artist, usually known by his first name, Michelangelo. We don't know. Same reason Cher only goes by one name too, Buonarroti. He won the Nobel Peace Prize, owned a peanut warehousing business, and graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy. Name this former president who is a, yes, Richard. Jimmy Carter. Correct. Nowadays, people are trading in their clunky large CRTs for sleek, cash for clunkers? No. For sleek LCD panels. What do those letters LCD stand for? Liquid crystal display. Oh, yeah. It is the only metropolis in the U.S. that is mostly below sea level. What city's residents learned this? Yes, Brandon. New Orleans. Correct. Don't confuse it with the handheld lyre. Besides the cello, what other symphony orchestra instrument is commonly held between the knees? Yes, Olivia. Right. Correct. This high-tech company has earned more Oscars than any other in film history for special effects. Name this operation founded by Yes. Industrial Nick. Light and Magic. Correct. New York and New Jersey sued each other over ownership of Liberty Island. Because it was a dispute between states, which U.S. court heard the law? Yes, Brandon. The Supreme Court. That's right. Although he later split with the Roman Catholic Church when the Pope wouldn't grant him a divorce, Henry VIII had er Yes, Olivia. Um, the Anglican Church? No. Henry VIII had earlier ordered the execution of William Tyndale for doing what to the Bible? Burning it. Actually, publishing an English translation. You weren't allowed to do that. The men who kidnapped his son in 1932 hoped for ransom from the man nicknamed the Lone Eagle. Who, yes, Andrew. Lindberg. That's correct. Dateline 1612. The money rolled in. Before long, Virginia settlers were growing the stinking weed on every patch of ground they could find. Brandon. Tobacco. Got it. A circle is circumscribed around a square. The square's diagonal measures four centimeters. What is the radius of the circle? Andrew. Four pi. No, you can steal. Oh. Two centimeters. The first assembly line was built in the same city in which the cotton gin was invented. Name the city that is also home to the Bulldogs of Yale University. Yes, Nick. New Haven. Correct. That's one minute of play left. Three movies have won Academy Awards in all four major categories. Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, and Best Actress. Name any one of these three pictures. Titanic. No, I'm sorry. You can steal, gentlemen. <coughs> Lord of the Rings. It happened one night, one flew over the cuckoo's nest, or Silence of the Lambs. Each sign of the zodiac has a different picture or symbol associated with it. What is the symbol for Capricorn? Brandon. Um, the goat. That's right. Oh. This American artist became famous for his paintings of Campbell's soup cans and Coca-Cola. Yes, Olivia. And Warhol. Right. The Russians call it the Great Patriotic War. What do we Americans call this war whose Eastern Front surrender terms were? Yes, Richard. The Japanese-Russian War? No, whose Eastern Front surrender terms were confirmed at the Potsdam Conference. World War. What? World War II? That's right. <laughs> That's the end of the round. Let's look at the score. 130 for Harker. Archbishop has the lead of 150. Close game. We'll find out who wins after the following messages. Don't go away.
All right, let's play the extreme lightning round. Olivia and gentlemen, in this round, the questions are worth 20 points, but there is a penalty here. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, I will deduct 20 points from your score. If you buzz in, give me the wrong answer, and I get let the other team collaborate, you have a choice. You can try and give me the answer. If it's wrong, you'll also lose the points. If you don't know the answer and just say pass, there'll be no penalty to you, okay? Good luck to both teams. Here's the first question. Very close score. What insignia does a colonel in the US Army wear on his epaulets? Harker, it's the eagle. <laughs> Give me the common name for the diluted chemical sodium hypochlorite sold in supermarkets. Brandon. Bleach. That's right. When Lewis and Clark reached the source of the Missouri River, they crossed the Continental Divide and reached the Pacific Ocean at the mouth of what river? Yes, Richard. The Columbia. You got it. Who was George's companion and friend in Steinbeck's novel of Mice and Men? Yes, Khalil. Lenny. Right. What is the highest singing voice for an adult woman? Olivia. Soprano. You got it. Name the 1957 Leonard Bernstein musical, which is a modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet. Khalil. West Side Story. Correct. Eddas are the lengthy sagas of heroes and adventures told by the Norse who moved to what island? Olivia. Greenland. No, you can steal. Pass. Iceland. Mexico City used to be the most populous city in the world, but it was recently overtaken by which capital of... Yes, Richard. Tokyo. No. Which capital of South Korea? Oh. Uh, Seoul. Seoul is right. On December 20th, 1951, the town of Arco, Idaho made history as the first town in the world to be lit with electric power generated by what new source of electricity? Nuclear power. What well-known 19th century Gothic novel was subtitled A Modern Prometheus? Andrew. Frankenstein. Correct. Who depicts the horrors of the Spanish Civil War in his painting Guernica? Yes, Olivia. Picasso. Got it. According to the proverb, you catch more flies with honey than with what? Andrew. Vinegar. Yes. Today, Irene is a popular girl's name, but in Greek mythology, she was the goddess of what? Peace. Because of his love of ceremony, what Mexican war general was nicknamed Old Fuss and Feathers? That was Scott. The Straits of Gibraltar are also known by what name inspired by Greek mythology? Brandon. Not the Pillars of Hercules. Correct. What river flows through Kiev, the capital of Ukraine? Yes, Brandon. Uh, the Dnieper. Correct. Which current comic strip features a teenager named Jeremy? Olivia. Zitz. Yes, Zitz. What Belgian monarch formerly owned the Congo as his personal fiefdom? Yes. Uh, right. Leopold. Correct. The, the leading cargo during the colonial era carried to the Caribbean from North America by weight wasn't rum, but what commodity obtained on the Grand Banks? It was cod. How many different ways could you arrange a 15-volume encyclopedia on one shelf? 15 factorial. <laughs> Traditionally treated with quinine, what tropical disease? Yes, Brandon. Malaria. Got it. After a preliminary skirmish at Lexington, the shot heard round the world began the American Revolutionary War at the North Bridge in what New England town? Yes, Olivia. Conquer. Got it. Tegucigalpa is the capital of what Central American nation? Brandon. Uh, Honduras. Right. What American composer wrote Rhapsody in Blue and an American in Paris? That was George Gershwin. What two-word phrase was coined by Karen DeCrow in 1975 to mean going overboard to not offend any group? PC, or politically correct. Here we go. Give me the formula for the surface area of a sphere of radius R. Yes, Brandon. Four thirds pi, um, or four pi r squared. You got it. What is the traditional day in the USA for elections for federal offices? November yes, 2nd. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Pass. 
the first Tuesday in November. Give me the six letter word that means the dried saliva and skin particles that cause many humans to sneeze and get stuffy sinuses when around cats. Brandon. Dander. Yeah. Give me the scientific word that means adapted for grasping or seizing, such as a monkey's tail or a black rhino. Yes, prehensile. Andy. That's correct, prehensile. We have a minute to go. What was the artistic name of the former exotic dancer executed for espionage? Yes, Matahari. Olivia. Matahari. Matahari. Which major figure of Hindu worship rides the bird Garuda and is the companion of Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth? Yes, Andrew. Uh, Vishnu. Correct. Referring to the density of weave, what measurement often denotes the softness of sheets? Yes, Olivia. Thread count. Got it. Abbreviated, abbreviated, abbreviated FMLA, what law requires employers to give time off to care for a new baby or ill spouse? Olivia. Uh, family maternity leave of absence? No, I'm sorry. You can steal. Okay. Family and Medical Leave Act. That is the end of the game. 194 Archbishop with 450. Harker moves on to the next round. Thank you both teams for playing. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. The following underwriters helped to make this program possible. San Mateo Credit Union. Kaiser Permanente. Sam Tran. Tournament champions will win an all-expense-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. Additional support provided by the Burlingame Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, the Knights Templar, and National Academic Quiz Tournaments.